In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. As we gather to celebrate today, we remember during our liturgy the people of the parish. We ask God to be with us this morning and to forgive all our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold fast to the Paschal mystery through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his, his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. For king of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the people are gathered together with the people of God, of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you what I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I am from God. I came from the Father, and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world, and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. We know that the story of Easter is a story of dying and rising. We know that Jesus died, was put in the tomb, and rose three days later. And now, as we get ready to celebrate the Ascension tomorrow, Jesus will return to the Father and he will leave the gift of the Spirit 
a gift that will fill the church and all believers with the spirit of God's love. But if you stop and think about it, dying and rising is something that we do each and every day of our lives. We die to our old selves and rise to a new way of understanding, a new way of living each and every day. And we need to be open then to the new possibilities that are offered us each and every day of our lives. And in a sense, we see and hear about that dying and rising in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. For we hear about Apollos, someone who was very eloquent in his speaking, an authority in scriptures. And yet, even though he was talking about Jesus Christ and the baptism that he had received, he wasn't quite accurate in what he was saying. So we hear how Priscilla and Aquila take him aside and instruct him more in what it means to be a follower of Jesus. He, in a sense, died to his old understanding and rose again through the power of the Spirit in this new way and was able to become even more effective in preaching the gospel. We know in the life of St. Paul, it was someone who died to his old way of being a persecutor of Christians and rose to becoming one of the most eloquent voices for the gospel message. And because of his witness, countless numbers of men and women believed. Today, as we listen in our gospel, we hear G Jesus tell us that he is leaving the world and going back to the Father. But he wants us to continue asking so that we can be filled with the power of God's love. And if we are going to keep asking in prayer, it means we need to empty ourselves and be open to this new life that Christ offers us each and every day through the Father's love. Again, it's that sense of dying and rising. We die to our old ways and we rise again with this new life of Christ. So as our Easter journey is coming to a close, as we get ready to celebrate the Ascension and the week after the outpouring of the Spirit on Pentecost Sunday, let us be open to the possibilities that Jesus Christ offers us each and every day. Die to your old self and rise with the new life of Christ. Jesus told his disciples that whatever they ask the Father in his name will be given them. Knowing this, we have the confidence to bring him our needs. For those discerning a vocation in the church, may God grant them wisdom and understanding. We pray to the Lord. For government leaders and uh, for governments and pol political leaders, May the Holy Spirit lead them in service of their communities, countries, and world, especially during this most difficult time, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, may, they, may the joy of the resurrection bring them solace, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, may they come to know the healing peace of Christ in their lives, we continue to pray for Jim Fitzpatrick, Maria Hajduk, Madeline Kennedy, and all those suffering from the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially all those who have lost their lives as a result of the coronavirus, may they enjoy eternity in heaven with the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Father of love and mercy, we ask you to look kindly upon these prayers which we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread said, and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memory memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that is, a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Gabriel, and with all the saints, 
we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord, and in honor of our Blessed Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And we remind you that the church is open for private prayer each day, including Saturday from 10 to noon and on Sunday from 2 to 4. And have a good day and a great Memorial Day weekend.